All right, Matt, uh, you have another special sunrise for us. For those of us who maybe don't work, wake up so early, don't work who the morning would that hours. Be? Yeah. Who would that be? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, give us a break. We get home very late at yeah, night. Yeah, we're fast asleep, yeah. so Although here the, we go. The sun's coming up later, so our excuses are getting That's less true. and less. But uh, check it out, Amanda. We have mostly clear skies as promised, but then I promise clouds will start rolling in soon after sunrise. And so pretty. spectacular. There's those clouds moving in from the west to east and yeah, really blanket us with a uncharacteristically overcast mm. day of weather here across southeastern Arizona. And as I said a few minutes ago, come on, you can take it, right? 335 days of sunshine a year. What's well, just a couple cloudy days slash overcast days? And you know what? It's not like that real low, thick clouds. These are high clouds. It's still seeing some filtered sunshine. Uh, just enough cloud cover to keep us a few degrees above average this morning, down to 50. 39, where skies were clearer in Nogales, 48 Sierra Vista. Keep in mind, day in and day out, our average now should be about 47, so running above average. I love the state of Arizona, though, don't you? 20s up here, 30s in Sholo, 40s Casa Grande, 50s in uh, Tucson, no 60s. Uh, we are now, after all, getting sort of to the end of the month of November. Let's hop outside on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. We're looking at, yeah, mostly cloudy skies, but there's a couple sun breaks outside. It's 76, so certainly noticeably cooler today than what we saw yesterday, and certainly uh, what we saw on Monday, we were really dabbling with record like temperatures. Dew point 23, winds are light out of the north at five miles per hour. We're going to talk in a few minutes about why that wind will likely pick up for Tucson, especially tomorrow. But first, let's show you temperatures all across the region and they are nice outside today. 74 to 76, not a lot of variety here. And we're looking at temperatures mostly into the 60s across Cochise and Santa Cruz County. We got that one holdout, the one exception, 80 currently in the western deserts of Pima County in Ajo. How about nighttime lows tonight? They are going to be borderline chillier tonight, courtesy of clearing skies and the fact that we only got into the 70s for highs today. So we'll go 46 in the city of Tucson, Sierra Vista, low 40s. All right, Benson, heads up. You might want to consider covering some sensitive vegetation. I have you just one degree above freezing, but you know what? One, two degree, we have that sort of guarantee. We like to keep things between one to three degrees. That could go either way. So just a heads up at Wilcox, I think a 31, definitely a good idea to take your freezing weather precautions. For tomorrow, it's gonna be finally a sunny day. We would never have three overcast days in a row across southeastern Arizona, would we? Daytime highs similar once again into the upper 70s, close to 80. Clouds rolling through today, courtesy of just this weak front, which uh, equals that slightly cooler air temperature. But then tomorrow we're going to have what's called a backdoor cold front. What's a backdoor cold front? Well, again, cold fronts usually move from west to east. When they move from east to west, well, that's what we call a backdoor front, and that should pick up some of the breezes, and it's going to keep Cochise County. The front will never make it into eastern Pima County. It'll keep Cochise Cheese County, much cooler than Eastern Pima County. What's on tap for the long term? This is Monday, area of low pressure right here, beginning next work week, the week of Thanksgiving. This is Tuesday with a slight chance of showers Tuesday and Wednesday. And right now, the latest trends try to bring a cool down Thursday. But remember what I said yesterday. We showed you the heart of that green, that cooler air overhead in Arizona. Well, now that ridge is pushing a little bit farther to the east. This is what I was afraid of happening. So we might have to kind of pump the brakes on a very substantial cool down. We'll address that as it becomes closer. Mid 40s for low, sunny and breezy. Could see those gusts of 30 miles per hour. So definitely bring your trash cans in if it's trash day tomorrow earlier. And look at that, not out of the 60s for Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Here's your seven day forecast. Breezy tomorrow, 78. Back to 80 on Friday, upper 70s, Saturday and Sunday. Monday, partly cloudy, 10% chance of showers on Tuesday. And right now, a 20% chance of showers on Wednesday, Amanda. Again, not a slam dunk with rain chances. That's why I did not increase them. I didn't have to decrease them. Mm -hmm. We did decrease high temperatures to about 70, but a lot of uncertainty with that extended forecast. That's why we're going to watch it every single day as those models become in better focus. We'll let you know. All right. Well, it'd be nice to squeeze out some rain. Wouldn't it? Yeah. We need it. We do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Matt.